Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have my Black Friday and Cyber Monday haul. I was going to wait till the end of this week to do this haul because I ordered most of my stuff online obviously and I always like to combine Black Friday and Cyber Monday just because I mainly get stuff on Cyber Monday. I don't really go shopping on Black Friday. So I have two pack three packages that didn't come in. If you guys aren't aware, I am doing Vlogmas, so make sure that you guys subscribe. Um, I am about to upload um, day two or day three. I don't even know the next uh, vlog uh, so I will go ahead and leave my channel down below it is just Vita Bella vlog also really quickly I just wanted to address the angle it might be a little weird I actually broke my tripod and I broke my ring light and so I literally had this like I had to like create something to like hold up my ring light like literally snapped off the um, part you screw on to the tripod so there's like literally no way I don't even know what I'm gonna do I probably have to buy a new ring light which is really annoying but anyways um, if you guys like videos like this please don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to turn on your notification bell it's going to notify you every single time I upload a video and I have some really exciting videos coming up so yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the haul I'm going to show you guys everything I got on Cyber Monday first and then I will go ahead and move on to the things that I bought in the stores the first purchase that I did make was on a uh, Q Australia um, I just bought some high key fades in the black um, and I love them. They're such good quality and I don't know why it took me so long to buy those sunglasses. So obviously when Q had their buy one get one free, I had to take advantage. I only paid $70, just paid for the high keys in gold. They were $65 and then I had to pay $5 for shipping and then I got the other glasses for free. So obviously uh, this is the case that it comes with and I love these cases and it obviously comes with the little glass cleaner and then these are the glasses. Oh my god, they are so adorable. I freaking love them. Like I look so good in aviators like I don't know. I'm not trying to like be conceited but I just feel like aviators like fit my face really well. I have some Ray-Bans and... I freaking am obsessed with my Ray-Bans, but now I'm like obsessed with these ones. So yeah, they're super cute. So I did pick up these ones and I might just have to get the olive ones because if you guys didn't know, olive is one of my favorite colors. So I might have to get those. Um, then the second ones, they just came in this really nice case. And I actually love these cases because they open like this. They don't really secure or protect your glasses, um, but it is a nice case and it's free. So I just got these uh, clear frame ones. They're more of like dress up glasses. I actually want to see if I can put my prescription in here because uh, I really like the shape of them. I need glasses um, and it just says quite cute on the side. I need some glasses, but I just haven't been able to find some frames that I like. Um, so this is what these look like. I think they look cute on me. I don't know. I feel like they go good with my face. A lot of the reading glasses that I've seen are really small frames. And I like the big ones. Um, I'm like super weird. So yeah, that's what these look like. Super comfortable too. And the lenses are clear. Like they don't give you a headache. I bought some um, clear glasses from Forever 21 that I hauled a while ago. And every time I put them on, like, I don't know, the, something's, like, up with the lens. Like, it looks like they're prescription glasses because it makes me get a headache. But those ones, like, fit super good on me. So next, I placed a huge order on Ulta. Um, I love Ulta. They were having a lot of good sales. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got. I'm going to do my best to tell you guys the sales, um, if I can remember. So the first two things right here I got are the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I'm about to put you guys on these. Actually, Daisy Marquez put me on this. She used it in one of her videos when she was reviewing whole look doing only using Makeup Revolution. And obviously, I like bought a couple things that she had used and I fell in love with these sprays. They just make your face look so bomb. Like it just makes it, it doesn't make you look oily. And I feel like even though this is an illuminizing fixing spray, I feel like if you are oily, it won't make you more oily. These were buy one, get one 50% off. And these aren't even that expensive. Then I did get the Juvia's Place Afrique. Is that how you say it? Oh my god, please do not uh, come for me if I mispronounce this. I'm really sorry. But it, it is a new palette and I mainly got this palette for one shade. I know, it's kind of dumb. But I mean, all the shades obviously I'm going to use. But I did buy it purposely for one, well, two shades I guess. 
Uh, this is what the palette looks like. Um, I hope my light is not washing them out, but I mainly got it for this yellow right here. I do not, for the life of me, out of like the 50 million palettes that I have, I do not have a good yellow shadow. So I know the quality of Juvia's Place shadows and they are on point. They are literally... Yeah, they are literally one of the best shadows out there. I think at, on the top of my list, Juvia's Place takes the cake out of all the shadows I've ever tried. So if you guys are looking for some super pigmented, good quality, and affordable shadows, I definitely recommend Juvia's Place. And they always have coupon codes out there. Um, I know Nikki Tutorials has one. Um, a lot of YouTubers have them. Um, just not Chelsea. Um, but... Yeah, if you guys want to give me a code, I'd appreciate that. I basically got it for this yellow and then this green. It's super beautiful. It comes with seven matte shades and five shimmer shades, which I think is a good balance. They are super beautiful. I don't want to swatch it yet because I want to do a review on it. I did pick up this little gift set. It was only $12. Um, it was by Bare Minerals. I honestly don't even remember putting this in my cart. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I bought it. Uh, the lip they're liquid lipsticks and they are in the shade infamous and in swank they had tissue paper but i took it out because it's like super obnoxious so this first color is in swank and it is a beautiful like i don't know it's like a mauve like a deep mauve almost purple but not not purple <laughs> uh and this one is like a pinky nude i don't know how they're gonna look on me oh my god yeah there's no way you're gonna be see these my, I feel like it's washing out. They had awesome deals on in all the Tarte mascaras. I think there was like maybe two or three of them. But I did pick up the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and the Tarte Tardis Mascara. This is my second time repurchasing this after I had gotten a sample. And this is my first time purchasing the big one of this because I have had a couple samples. But these were only $10 each. So basically I got two for the price of one. So I had to take advantage even though I don't really need any more mascaras, but you can never have enough, you know? And if they're on sale, you might as well get them. Uh, let's see. I did pick up this NYX white liquid liner. I do not have a good white liquid liner, and I really wanted to get the Urban Decay one, but they were sold out. So I just opted for this one, and I heard um, a few people say that this was a good liner, so... Got that. And I think NYX was 50% off. I had to pick up some Dose of Colors, the Desi by Katie. I did not get their first collection nor their second collection. So I figured because these were on sale, I would pick them up. I believe they were 30% off, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I got these shades, uh, My Main, and it's a liquid velvet, and also a Mauve Story. And the packaging, let me just say right now, is absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to be displaying these just because they are gorgeous. So this first one right here is um, my mauve, or my main, what the heck. My main, it's just a really pretty nude. Like, look at the packaging on these. And this is a mauve story. So that's mauve story, and this is my main. I think these are gorgeous colors, and I can wear them every day. I really needed some new lipsticks. I mean, not really, but really. Uh, I just wear the same ones all the time. Like this one, I'm wearing Beeper by ColourPop. This is like my go-to. I mean, I love this color. I haven't worn it in a while, but I'm obsessed with this color. Uh, coming down to the last couple things here. I got the um, NYX. Um, like I said, it was 50% off. So this is the Can't Stop can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and and i got it in the shade medium olive it looks pretty promising i'm hoping that it's the right shade but if not uh i won't have an issue because there is now an ulta near me so i can take it and return it and get the right shade so super excited about that i love how we have an ulta here now because it's so annoying when i have to um like when a, a shade doesn't fit and i have to like send it back and everything and then I finally picked up the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And you guys, look at how huge. Like, I don't think people actually understand, like, how huge this bottle is. Like, here's the setting spray. It's, like, as big as the setting spray. 
Um, this I know for a fact it's not going to match me because I looked at it earlier. I got it in the shade F12. So I actually probably need to take this back and get a shade lower like F11. But I will try it but I know it's not going to work. And then I also picked up the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal in Defined. In Defined? No. Define. And this is in the shade C6.5. They have two different concealers and I know I tried one and I didn't like it. So I'm hoping it wasn't this one because I can't remember which one it was if it was um i could just return it but yeah i believe these products were 30 percent off or 50 percent off and then you know i had to support my girl nicole i did pick up her collab with ogx this is the shampoo and conditioner in mistletoe wishes and i honestly did not even need any i mean i did but i don't you know Oh my god, you guys, these literally smell like candy. They smell so bomb, so I definitely recommend the pink ones. I don't really like to smell the black one, but the pink and I think the purple one smells super bomb. Super excited to try these out. Okay, so next I did place my first order to KKW Beauty, and I honestly, I don't even know why it took me so long. I just guess I just didn't. Like, people in the beginning weren't hyping up her products enough, so I don't know. There was, like, some bad things said about it and some good things, but I did finally place my order, and I'm not see or not but this is what the packaging looks like i seriously love it i might just keep the box <laughs> so the first thing that i did pick up is the kkw beauty cream contour in medium i am hoping that this is the right shade because if not it's gonna suck but i did only get the contour stick i didn't get like the brush like the kit or whatever oh yeah i think that's gonna be a good shade i heard so many things i want to see how much product you actually get i want to do a review but i feel like everybody's already reviewed so <laughs> you literally only get that much which is why i waited so long because i just didn't want to spend like however much this is i can't even remember uh she was having only 30 percent off so i did get the bake in one uh i felt this powder earlier and it is so super 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 finely milled and just so buttery soft so i'm super excited to use this um this is what the packaging looks like too i hope you can see it it's literally so gorgeous i literally just want to have all her makeup displayed on my vanity because that's how gorgeous it is i'm obsessed so yeah i got that and then i did pick up a concealer in number four i was watching jenny 69's video try to get like my right shade they were out of five and i felt like six I think they were out of five and six, or I think that um, six would have been too too dark for me. So I did pick up four. It looks a little light, but I feel like it'll be okay just because I do like my concealers a little bit lighter. And then I did pick up a lip liner. This is in the shade Nude One. And I don't know what the heck is in this lip liner, but it's like super heavy. It's like the heaviest lip liner I've ever had. And it's really, really pretty and gorgeous. Just has KKW Beauty right here. And this is the liner. And I think you sharp in it it's like kylie's liners that are super weird then i got the brightening powder in the shade unbrighten looks like this again gorgeous packaging but this is the only thing i don't like kim you need to make your shit bigger for as much as we're paying for this shit like i don't remember how much this was but you don't even get a full freaking ounce like <laughs> that kind of sucks so i really hope she like listens because i know a lot of youtubers were saying that she needs to have more product especially for the amount we're paying like even kylie who's like a billionaire has a billion dollar makeup company even she has a shit ton of product like she's not cheap with her damn product you know and then last but not least i did pick up one lipstick this is in nude too so it's like clear and then oh my god you guys i feel like this kind of reminds me of like the cheap lipsticks like the nyc but it's like way more classier i don't know but see the lipstick you get a lot of product this looks like a gorgeous color so the next place that i did order was ColourPop. i believe ColourPop was having 30 percent off or maybe 40 i think it was 30. Uh, i did not pick up any lipsticks because i have literally tons of them that i bought last year on cyber monday um, and I just never used them. They literally sat there like <laughs> I don't even want to look at them because it makes me so upset that I bought them and haven't used them. Um, so yeah, I did pick up um, basically all of their newer stuff that they recently came out with. So I did pick up the No Filter Setting Powder. This is in Translucent. And I really love the packaging too. So that's what that looks like. Um, you get uh, 8.5 grams 
for like six bucks, seven bucks, maybe ten dollars, I think. Not too bad. Really disappointed. I got the wrong shade and foundation. This is the no filter foundation. I'm gonna place another order because I really want to try this out. Got it in the shade medium 105. Uh, I definitely can use it when I'm tan, so I mean, I guess it's not a total loss, but I'm sad because I won't be able to use it anytime soon. And then I did pick up the No Filter Foundation Stick in Medium 90W. I should have got <laughs> lighter shade in this too. This is just way too freaking like orange. I don't even know, you guys. I'm hoping, I don't know. I want to say somebody said this oxidizes, but if this oxidizes, it's going to be like another shade darker. And then this one, I don't even... No, this one is just like a no-go. I picked up the No Filter Concealer. I have tried this concealer and I love it. I did pick up another one in a darker shade. This is in the shade Medium 20. I got the No Filter Sheer Press Powder. I really have been needing a new powder. I have the MAC one, but it's too dark for me. And this is what this looks like. Really, really cute packaging. And this is in the shade Medium. The last couple things I got is I got two different uh, brow pencils. I don't really know the difference. They kind of look the same. But I got the Brow Boss pencil. This looks like this. Uh, I can't remember if I've tried this before. I think I have tried this one. But it looks like really similar to the Honest Anastasia brow thing so if it's a dupe I definitely would be down to doing a video oh my god is that a brush in there oh yeah I forgot this is like it comes like in a thing oh I didn't even know that or did I I don't know but yeah it came with a brow brush I guess I don't know it was in here I think it was like a set I could have sworn it wasn't but yeah, I'm excited because I really need a new one and I don't want to fork out the money to get another Anastasia one. And I also picked up the Precision Brow Pencil. This is like super, super thin. Just looks like this, like same packaging. But yeah, this one is like hella thin. But the brow pencils did pick up in Bang & Brunette and Dark Brown. So I'm pretty sure these both will be the right color, hopefully. And then uh, last but not least, I got the brow gel. These, this is the Bo Boss Brow Gel in Clear. And I looked at, like, this is super dope too, by the way. This packaging, it's like chrome. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. This shit looks kind of thick. Uh, so we're gonna have to see it kind of looks more white than it does clear, but you all know I love the elf dollar um, brow gel so we'll see how good this one is. And the last thing that I did buy online. Okay. No, just kidding I did buy one more thing online. It's just a bra uh, I did get a package from a dose of colors so like I said, I did order some stuff from Desi and Katie, some more shit. I'm hoping that I did not get the same of what I bought. If so, oh no I didn't. I got two completely different ones. So the first thing that I did get was the baked uh, browns palette. Um, I have been wanting this since last year since it came out. And with the sale, I finally just got it. So the pa I literally want all of these, by the way. So Dose of Colors, if you're watching this, uh, feel free to send me or add me onto your PR. Thanks. I fuck with Dose of Colors super heavy. Like, I have been rocking with them since, like, day one, since they came out with shit. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see that. Super excited. Not like I really needed this palette because I have so many palettes like this. But, I don't know, I just really wanted it. So, and it's compact, so I can use it for traveling, too. Then I got uh, two, I got a lip gloss and a lipstick. So I got the over-the-top lip gloss. And, oh my god, you guys, I could not pass this up. This color and just the packaging is gold. And then the lipstick I got in Hey Girl. And, again, the packaging is super fire. And the shade is just super gorgeous perfect nude and I love uh, lipsticks with gloss over top and then some lip liner I think that's been like really my go-to rather than liquid lipsticks because they dry out my lips and then I did pick up a dose of colors lip gloss and or not lip gloss a liquid matte lipstick in Merlot I have a few of dose of colors so it was hard to choose a color because I literally have all of them uh, but this is in the shade of Merlot and it's like a red it almost looks pink, so I'm nervous to see what color it's going to be on me. The last thing I got was from the I Love Sarai collection, and it, I got the liquid matte lipstick in Nude Chica. And again, I love her packaging as well. I feel like it's kind of similar to KKW, but whatever. It's super cute nonetheless. 
and I'll like I feel like she's the queen of nudes I love Sunny. She always has the prettiest nudes. And that is what that looks like. Really quickly, I did pick up a bra from Victoria's Secret. I bought it online because I wanted to use a coupon. But this is the bra I get. It's the Body by Victoria. So if you guys are a mom or you guys are just looking for a comfortable bra, this one is the way to go. It is literally so freaking comfortable. I'm pretty sure it's called Body by Victoria. I can't really find the thing. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, it's called Body by Victoria Perfect Shape. Um, literally, this fits your body. Like, it's the name definitely suits it because it fits your body perfectly. So, yeah, I got this, and I think uh, the the bras were 40% off. And these bras are really expensive, so um, I definitely was excited to get this. And the bras also shipped free. So now, moving on to the stuff that I did pick up in the store. So I did go to Victoria's Secret, and if you spent a certain amount of money, then you got this free throw. I think it was like spend 75. So yeah, I got this throw, which is going to be perfect for my decor, you all know. The pajamas were, um, they did have a sale, was buy one, get one free, um, but I think I missed that sale, or I don't know if I did get this for free. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I just got the plain uh, pink striped pajamas. I got them in a size small. They look kind of big, but yeah, that's what they look like. And then the pants to go with it. And then I did get free um, red slippers. Oh my god, I've been wanting to wear these. These are literally so comfortable. So I got some free red slippers because it was um, if you spend a certain amount of money on PJs. I think it was if you spend 50 on PJs, you get free slippers. And then obviously I had to get, you know, my buffalo print. Well, this isn't really buffalo plaid, but I mean, it's kind of like similar. Uh, so I also got these ones and these were the thermal pajamas. And then, last but not least, I don't even know where the top is to this. So I got this cute set. It's like a lounge set. So it just says uh, Victoria Sport right here. And this shit, like, hugs your waist so well. And then they are long sweats. Um, and these are literally so comfortable. And then this is the top. It's super cute. It's a crop top. Long sleeve. And the material is just like, oh my god. I don't even know how to explain this, but it's bomb. And it says Victoria Sport. I definitely would not wear this to work out. It's kind of like loungewear. So I don't know why it's called Sport. But yeah, I got this. And I used some coupons on top of all of this. So I think I got everything for like $120. Which is freaking amazing. Because this shirt by itself I think was like $45. And the pants were like um, $35 or vice versa. So yeah, I saved a lot of money. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to share with you guys... What I got at Bath and Body Works. Um, so technically I did not buy anything on Cyber Monday or Black Friday. But I literally bought it the day before. So I felt like I should still show you guys. Um, I went in on the candles because, you know, discounts. So. Okay, you guys. Um, so my camera died. So I had to like uh, charge it, charge the battery really quick. I did pick up some candles. I got these for $11.95 each, which is a good deal. It's not the $8 candle sale, but it is still a good deal. So the first one I got is Frozen Lake and this smells literally so good. Um, the notes of this is made with lavender and Cypress essential oils with notes of eucalyptus and juniper berry. I think I have this one, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to get another one. And I got a uh, mahogany teakwood. This is like an essential. It smells like a man. It smells so good. It says rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, frosted lavender with essential oils. Then I got spiced apple toddy. Oh, this smells so, so, so good. I'm going to put this downstairs in my living room. It's made with cinnamon, clove essential oils, and notes of apple brandy. I got my favorite candle of all Christmas time. It's Tis the Season. It says red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. did have a free coupon, um, or a free coupon, obviously a free coupon. I had a uh, spend $10, get a free item. So I picked up the Magic in the Air body lotion. Oh my god, you guys, this smells super, super good. This is a new ocean as well, and it's so good. I highly recommend. I have more that this is sitting on, but I did not get them. Um, these are the $8.95 candles uh, that I got. So if you guys are interested to see which ones I got, um, I did film a haul um, on my vlog. So you guys can go check that out if you'd like. I got tons of wallflowers. They were on sale for $3.50. Oh yeah, they're wallflowers. So 
I got a uh, linen and lavender uh, winter. This shit smells bomb. Please pick this up. It's so good. Pick up the candle as well. I got blue winter sky. This one is too. I got the candle. So bomb. Beautiful day. Then I got sweater weather. I love this candle. So obviously I had to get that. Energy orange and ginger. This is the Roma Therapy um, line. I've never tried this one before, but I really like the um, the green stress one. I can't remember. Oh, it's eucalyptus and spearmint. I've ha I have a candle and it's super good. So um, I got that to put in my bathroom. So I got winter candy apple, frosted coconut snowball. This stuff smells so good. Uh, Mary Berry Kiss. I think the soaps were $2.50 as well. And that's a great deal to me. Uh, twisted peppermint for my daughter. Uh, Enchanted evergreen. Uh, iced eucalyptus and arctic berry. And then I got some of these soaps. I never got these before. This is snow capped mountain. It's a nourishing hand soap with tea tree. Never tried these, but I did pick up a couple. And then I got winter, and this one is the creamy luxe hand soap with shea extract. Never tried these. At least I don't think so. I normally just get the foam ones. I got Marshmallow Flurries, which is a, such a cute name. And then I also got more wallflowers. I got Flannel, one of my favorite candles. Uh, Frosted Cranberry, another flannel, and Creamy Nutmeg. And then I also had another uh, spend $10, get a free gift. So I got the Moonlight Path um, Lotion. This literally brings me back to like high school. Because I used to wear this all the time and it smells super bomb. So I'm actually waiting for them to have a sale on their lotions because I don't think they did. Or maybe they did but I like missed out. But I definitely want to stock up on this because it's so good. And then the last two soaps that I got, I think, yeah, are Frost, frost Roasted. Frost, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Frosted Coconut Snowball, this is a nourishing hand soap, and then Candy Cane Bliss uh, foam soap. Then, last but not least, I got a few more wallflowers. I know, I went a little crazy. I didn't realize I bought this much, but they were only $3, so why not? Or like $3.50. I got Winter Candy Apple, uh, Toasted S'mores, Merry Mistletoe, and Tis the Season. And then I got one more candle. I think I got this because I had to spend like 35 Use my coupon. Oh, oh yeah, this smells so bomb. This is the Blue Winter Sky. I actually want to take back one candle and get another one of these. I don't even know what this smells like, but it smells good. Um, this is made with peppermint, eucalyptus essential oils, and notes of oak and cedar. Oh, it smells super bomb. And the packaging is hella cute. I went to my local thrift store. Um, you guys know I love Sabres, you guys. They were having, which is kind of dumb, they were having 75% uh, off from the time they opened till noon um, on their bottoms. And then after noon, it was only 50% off. Which I don't understand why they just didn't do from the time they opened to noon 75% off the whole store. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you only do bottoms, you know? I feel like they were being a little bit cheap. But I ain't even mad because I got some really cool bottoms. I normally love to get my activewear there. And I was so excited that they had 75% off because some of this stuff is way overpriced for a thrift store. Like, these Nike pants were $10.99. Like, y'all got this for free and you're going to charge me $10.99 for these? Like, I could just go buy them brand new for that much, you know? So, I did get these um, Nike leggings and they just look like this. Uh, or, actually, they're capris. But I only paid, like, a couple dollars for them because I got them for 75% off. Got these shoes. Short. I needed some more shorts. These were $3.49, so I got them for like 75 cents, I believe, because they were 75% off. And then I got these uh, shorts right here. These were $3.99, so I got them for 75 cents. And then this is my favorite pickup. These were $12.99, so I got them for like $3. Um, these are literally like brand new Adidas leggings and they're super nice. Um, they have like blue, but they literally look brand freaking new. So I was super happy about these. They're super cute. And then the rest of the stuff I got are just leggings. I really needed some new ones. Um, these are leggings from Forever 21. Um, they were $7.49 with 75% off. And then I just got these um, gray leggings, but they are Adidas. So they just look like this. 
and then it just says Adidas right there. And these were $8.99, so I got them for a couple of dollars. That is everything that I bought. I did buy some stuff for my daughter, some stuff for my son, and also for my husband. And then the last place, oh, let me just do these because I only got two. Um, CVS was having 30, 40% off for their lashes. Um, so I got two of the Mega Volumes. Um, these are super bomb. They're really affordable if you're looking for like mink-esque lashes. And I'm so sorry that was bright. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, that's what the lashes look like. And they are in the number 252. So just got two of those. And then at Jeans Warehouse, I got these earrings. They're just silver hoops. They were 50% off. Or I think it was an additional 75 or 50. Um, I honestly can't remember. I think it was 75% off. So I got these for like um, 50 cents. Uh, and then I got these super cute glasses. These were $4.88 with 75% off. I swear, I have way too many glasses. But, oh my god, aren't these, like, cute? These are kind of like, oh, oh my god, don't bother me type glasses, you know? Super cute. They're matte black. So, I'm excited to wear these. And then I got this cute romper. Oh my god, my boobs are going to look so good in this. Um... So yeah, looks like this, and then it just ties in the back, and it has really pretty lace, and then it has this uh, little opening right here, and then this is the bottom, it's like wavy. I got this really cute shirt, I mean this is really even a shirt because <laughs> it's so tiny, it's a crop top, and it's green, it's like olive green, my favorite color, $6.88, 75% off, and then I really wanted to do an outfit of the day, like a OOTD with this shirt, a cherry shirt, I've been looking for a cherry shirt, and like, it's like some jeans and some cute shoes, like some converse, some red converse, and then some like red glasses, oh my god, so cute. And then it just ties like that. And then I got this one. It's buffalo plaid, obviously. It's a little tube top with little ruffles. Looks like that. And then I got this shirt. Oh, that one. I don't even know the prices. Sorry. Just a savage to like a little crop top t-shirt. This was $11.88. And then this crop top, just white with a button up that. And then this one was $8.88. I got some of these chanclas. These were $11.88. And then I got this shirt. I thought it was really cute. It's a crop, just a plain crop top, but then it ties. So it could tie like around your waist or like around your body. Um, my, I'm not that skinny yet to wear it like that, but <laughs> when I you know get skinny I will and then I found this cute necklace it just says savage it's 488 with 75% off and last but not least I got this little crop top it says offline I thought it would be cute for like some OOTD pics and this was 1288 with 75% off that is everything that I got for Black Friday and Cyber Monday I feel like I didn't get as much as I did last year just because I'm really not trying to buy makeup I have way too much makeup for my own good and I really need to start using it more but yeah you guys I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this year's haul next year I really want to go extravagant so uh, stay tuned till next year don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time that I upload a video and yeah I think that's everything I have to say for today so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will see you guys in my next one bye